Yo, what up, DTMB? Uh, kind of a random commentary here. Uh, I got a 15-minute plunder video here where it's just a bunch of us playing, and uh, it's like Nitro, Joey, uh, Lock On, Lowest, Ab, Raid. You know, just a bunch of us playing in a 4v4 plunder scrim here on London streets, and uh, just having some fun. Well, I go, I go slay happy in this one, um, mainly. When you get that last plunder score, but you know what it is, what it is. But uh, it's gonna do, uh, I guess, just the random st stuff I think about, stuff I thought about, stuff I wanted to talk about, stuff I don't have time to talk about, or run out of time to talk about in other commentaries. Um, somebody asked me recently, why don't I ever? I, I made a response, I don't remember what video it was, somebody's video, or maybe it was one of mine, I don't remember. Or somebody asked me, because I made a comment about, you know, constantly making videos about, well, this is broken, and that doesn't work, and I don't like this. And somebody was like, well, you have a voice, why don't you say something about it? I'm like, I don't want to take the time to do it. I really don't care. Okay, for example, um, is it still being bitched about on a regular basis? Let's take the Gmail. I don't care. I'm used to playing with games where there's one dominant weapon. Uh, I've played Halo for years. It's the same thing with Quake. You know, everybody uses a rocket launcher. It's just a common knowledge thing. I mean, you just kind of get over it. After a while, you're just like, okay, cool. I'll just make myself a better player in how I play, not so much in what I use. But uh, people don't know how to do that. You know, it also comes down to the fact that this community is so stinking young. I mean, it is weird. I've never seen a community that has so many foreign players, more so than there are American players, and so many teenagers, or at least people under the age, if you will. I've never seen a community like that. It's st really strange. Um, some su such a such a huge dynamic, if you will. But that has a lot to do with it. You know, a lot of those situations were. It's like a posse. It's the same kind of thing. Like when I used to coach little league. You know, it's it's the herd mentality. You know, one kid does something, and because every other kid thinks they need to do that too, they just follow along with it. It's kind of the same way in any of these situations. This community kind of extravaganzas or how these situations play out. It's it's the same thing. One person does it, so everybody else feels like they need to do it too. And, you know, in some ways, it's kind of like a monkey see, monkey do scenario, which, I mean, that could apply for some people. But uh, I just don't really follow, follow suit with that. Maybe, it, maybe because I did that. Maybe I had my time to do that years ago, you know, in the, in the late... In the late 90s, early 2000s, I had my time to complain about whatever I wanted to complain about. But I didn't have YouTube. I didn't have podcasts and stuff like that. I mean, honestly, it was just between friends. I mean, even forums were still kind of new at that time. Um, so I didn't. I, maybe it's just because I never had that true outlet. And maybe because so many people now have that outlet. So many different places to complain about things. It's just, you know, it's, it's those kind of relations where I just don't take the time to do it. I just don't think it's important. I don't find it stimulating if you will same thing with the stats thing i just don't understand that i guess it bothers me so much because people waste so much time on things that are just really not that important you know There's so many other things you could be doing and not so much that you're fixing it's just do do something that's beneficial towards other people you know hey i want to run this or i want to start that or, I mean, like, that's why, you know, the Community Award, Fake Hound, that guy, by the way, another Community Award is coming up very soon. That's why, you know, that's why that guy is so good at what he does. You know, because he always, I don't know where he comes up for half the stuff he says, but uh, he just has really good things to talk about on a regular basis, and he's just constantly full of ideas, which is a good thing. You know, it's one of those things where it just kind of, it just goes with the flow. It just works that way. And I just, I don't want to take the time to do that kind of stuff. You know, I'd rather be doing things that are more beneficial and that are going to help us just kind of stay around and be healthy and you know, be a long lasting community. But, you know, plenty of things are, there's plenty of things you could still work on, you know, like, like Onan. I mean, he may be stubborn as a mule, but uh, he definitely pushes hard for the stuff he believes in. And those things are actually like legitimate concerns or fixes within a game because it's a core gameplay. I mean, that's what you come here for is the gameplay. For the, for the core basics that is Uncharted. Not all the other f flash and
floof and jazz hands that come along with everything else because really that's just that's just something to keep the the goldfish mind occupied the person that has about a 10 second attention span that was like oh i want to talk about that's really what it is i'm stuttering all over myself but uh it's just 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 and that's why I don't take the time to do it. So to answer that question, for those who ask about it, I just don't care. I and mean, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to bring stuff up. The only time I'm ever going to bring things up, I'm like, hey, this is what we should do and what we should act and how we can do it. I really just give answers and complain about it and not give anything in return. But uh, got back from E3 last Saturday. Pretty exhausted. I was exhausted. I, it was so tiring. It was fun, but I was constantly doing something. I had to come right back home, start working on other things. I had to do a bunch of reviews uh, for ESG, and you know, I just I haven't been making videos since then. I apologize that I didn't make it right when I came back, but uh, it was a lot of fun to meet Naughty Dog, or at least some of the guys there. I met I met Jason Paul, um, I met obviously Eric, obviously Arnie, a couple of people I don't really know who or who they are exactly. Uh, I met Neil. Um, jeez, one of the one or two of the guys that I saw at um, the AMC theater, but I cannot remember their names. I saw Cog. I didn't talk. I didn't talk to him. And uh, that's about it. I, I can't remember anybody else outside of that. But for the most part, it was a lot of fun. I didn't really think I got to go see The Last of Us on the last day. Ironic. Um, it was like literally the end of the day. <laughs> Eric was like, hey, just come back at this time. This is where we're going to have like a bunch of like industry people come check it out. So there was people like from Infinity Ward and 343 Studios. And there was a guy, a couple guys from Bethesda. And there's a bunch of random people up there. And when we got up there, it was like a small packed like little hallway. And it was super hot. There was like 50 people, probably more in this hallway. And it was like sardines and everybody's sweating. And it was just like the air conditioning in that building. It was on, but it just, it was trying to pump in so many places. It just, I don't know, I don't know if it wasn't going through that hall, or we were just blocking all the air. Anyways, I was standing at the end with a couple of my buddies. You know, Golden Boy was there. Um, obviously Miguel and I. And then, if I don't know if you guys follow Gears any. Um, good friend of mine, Cream. Um, Ken. He was there with us also. Was, they were just like, you know, get some people, let's go watch this thing. I was like, alright. So, I email Eric. I'm like, hey, uh, are we going to get into this? <laughs> because we're going to at the back, where we can actually breathe. And there's a lot of people in front of us. And this is a pretty cool story. I felt really special about this. He was like, all right. So I didn't hear back from him. And all of a sudden, this woman walks up to me. And she goes, are you Jason? I, Are you are you squid? Are you Jason? And I'm like, I'm stupid because I have my freaking badge on. But I'm like, how do you know my name? But I, but then it all clicks later. I have my badge on. Eric probably goes, hey, look for that goofy guy with the red beard in the back. And uh, sure enough, uh, he comes up there. All right, she brings us to the front. I start talking to Arnie. Um, definitely a uh, a kooky fellow. I actually introduced myself to him, and I walked up to him, and it was like the most glick look I've ever seen somebody have. I was like, hey, I'm Jason. I'm Squid. And he's like, hey, how's it going? But it, it felt like so robotic, and I was like, you must be really tired. <laughs> That's all I could think about. Um, but I don't blame him. I mean, there's so much stuff going on. There's a bunch of people doing stuff and talking. So I get up there. I talk to Arnie for a little bit before we get in the doorway. And uh, they let us in. So there was a group that went in front of us, and Eric got us in right after that. So I was, I was pretty impressed. I felt special. I was like, I was like a Naughty Dog VIP in a way. That's what I felt like. So anyways, we get in the room. It's super cold in there. It felt so good. I had to stand in the back. I didn't remember the guy's name. I stand by. I stood by one of the lead developers, I believe, for for The Last of Us. So we got to watch the demo, which was really cool. Uh, the crazy thing is, is like I've watched all the different coverage from that game and the three or four different videos that I've seen it was always played differently it was never actually the same way which is really cool really excited about that but it was tons of fun to meet them and be back there and just you know just kind of experience that I didn't really get to talk to Eric or Arnie because they were super busy and there were still plenty of people waiting um, I just ended up emailing Eric and he, he, I just told him thank you and yada yada but it was good stuff I had tons of fun it was really great to finally meet them and um, kind of have that experience. I mean, overall, E3 was great. Got to play a lot of new stuff. Got to do a lot of new things. Met a lot of great people. I'm telling you right now, if you have a PC and you want to play free-to-play games, 
play Hawken at the end of the year. Oh my gosh, that game is so much fun. I had a blast talking to the, the devs uh, about that. I played, I played, um, I guess, a, uh, Miguel, the guy that I, uh, I work with at ESG, uh, EvilSourceGaming.com. Um, he was in the other team, so it was like 4v4, or 5v5. Or four, yeah, it was 4v4, and if you don't know anything about Hawken, go watch some videos of it. It's like a first-person shooter mech game, but it's super fast. It's not like Mech Warrior, where I used to play back in the day. And uh, it's super fast, super fun. Uh, and I played with the dev team, and I totally carried them. <laughs> like, everyone else on the dev team was like 4 and 18, and I'm, I was like 20-something and, and 14 or something like that. Once I got the hang of it, and I don't play a whole lot of PC shooters anymore... But once I got the hang of it, I was just, oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I was just wrecking, wrecking folks, left and right, doing what I do best. But, uh, tons of fun. So if you have a gaming PC, or at least a good PC, definitely check that out. It is so much fun. Oh, man, it was just, it was just a blast. And the devs were like, hey, you know, what can, what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? What can we do? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, do this and this and this and change that. What about that? I talked to him for like 30 minutes. That guy was like, dude, we gotta go. And I was like, no, no, I wanna keep talking to him. And I know they're gonna be doing competitive gaming along that, so uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, in my meantime of not playing Char Uncharted, it, it'll give me something to do. But hopefully by that time, I'll have a, a much better PC than I do right now. But uh, I'm super excited about that game. It's free to play. How's that not cool? Free to play. That's like the future of games. Anyways, um, you know, those microtransactions and whatnot, which bugs some people, but whatever. Uh, but for the most part, it was fun. And uh, now we're just kind of getting back in the swing of things. Uh, podcast coming back. Know you guys are excited about it. Uh, the next one will be recorded tomorrow. Well, technically, this is Thursday. So if you see this on Friday, it's recording on Friday. As in June 15th? Yeah, June 15th, we are recording the podcast. It's just going to be triple, myself and the lowest. Kind of just talking about some things, what's going on in the community, what's, you know, what triple has planned, what, you know, what DTMB has planned, other things. And then we'll start back with our usual um, guests uh, later this month. We'll probably have two recorded. We'll probably record two in this month. I just don't know if they'll both come out this month. Uh, I know that this episode will. Uh, I know Triple's eventually going to release the the mysterious episode three that we never got that never got released, and we'll just kind of get back in the swing of things. So that'll be fun. Still pushing to get Eric or Arnie on there. Um, hopefully, we can get that figured out in the near future. Kind of has to go through Sony, which sucks, but uh, it's just how it kind of goes. But uh, podcast, hmm, uh, coaching series. Like I said, I got to get some videos for that. Um, Lowest is doing his top plays so if you don't really know a lot about that go check out that video top plays this is like this is legit stuff this isn't like your mom and pop oh look at my t-ball you know against a guy that's standing still no it's it's like it's, i want to see if you don't know what it is i want to see the um the all right what is that dang it the full cycle i want to see you like kill somebody drop your weapon pick up their weapon kill them with that somebody else with that weapon pick up a power weapon kill them pull out the pistol beat somebody down and then pop somebody in the face with a pistol like you get a fight on alive like that and that's some that is awesome gameplay not like fight on alive all these people are standing still not doing anything look at these noobs no i want to see like legit stuff like hard like somebody against some of the best players too if you can pull that kind of stuff off against really good players salute to you my friend salute to you because you deserve to be recognized and notarized and legitimized and some other eyes if you can do that kind of stuff. So check out Lois's video. I'll have some more stuff coming out here in the next couple of days over the weekend and into the next week. But, uh, you know, for the most part, just keep doing what you guys are doing. Thank you. Actually, no, hold on. I'm going to hold that off for a whole other video. Don't want to get into that. You probably already know what I'm about to talk about. But in the meantime, just kind of have fun with what you're doing. Enjoy the rest of this video, the minute that you have left. And this is Squid for DTMB. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
Titans win.